Hey there viewers, welcome back to the Resurrection Auto Rebuilders channel where the end of the road is just the beginning. Today we're going to work on paint prep for the uh, Suburban bumper. Um, we're going to get it ready to be primed. We're going to wet sand the primer and then we're going to throw some base and clear coat on and um, we'll see how it comes out at the end. Like I said, I am not doing a paint tutorial video. If you really want to learn how to paint, um, check out uh, Brian at Paint Society. I'll leave a card right up there or there. I don't know where it's going to be, but it'll be up there. Click on the link and uh, head on over to his channel and check out all of his videos. Um, that's where I learned a lot of my tips and tricks. Other than that, the last time I really um, painted in any uh, great length was uh, probably 30 years ago when I was an aircraft mechanic. And that was in the days of uh, uncatalyzed enamels like Imran and Centauri and uh, stuff like that. So um, the basics are the same, um, but all the materials are different and the uh, setup is different and the guns are different. And well, okay, it's just different. So um, I rely on people like Brian uh, to kind of get me up to speed and give me the, the tips and the tricks that they've learned and uh, they're passing along. And uh, hopefully uh, my paint jobs turn out to be better. So if you're looking for a tutorial, don't look here. Uh, there's plenty of mistakes to be found. If you're looking for some uh, boring entertainment, like Boring Build Friday, um, plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, video coming up of me wet sanding because, you know, wet sanding is always, always so exciting. So anyhow, hang in there. We're going to get this uh, thing uh, prepped and thrown in some primer and... Um, We'll uh, we'll check back in just a minute when we uh, when we got when we got it gray. So, all right, thanks. Two hours later. Um, all the footage I shot of this uh, primed bumper just disappeared. So, anyhow, you can see here on a still photo, uh, the bumper's been primed. So. All right, folks, we got her primed. Now we're going to treat you to some time-lapse wet sanding. Uh, top of everybody's list of fun things to watch on a, well, whatever night this is for you. So anyhow, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and watch me wet sand this bumper. Um... Okay, folks, um, I know you were all dazzled by all the wet sanding, and I'm sure you're all tuckered out, um, but here we are. We actually have it painted. Uh, I forgot to set the camera up uh, to capture the actual paint job. Not that you would have seen much because it was pretty foggy in here from the overspray. I do need to up my ventilation game. I got to figure something out. We got to get some airflow moving through here um, without... Um, making it like cold air because uh, it, it was pretty pretty foggy in here but anyhow here she is she is now magna steel metallic what the gm likes to call this color anyhow uh came out pretty good um this is uh it was two coats of base um well it's a the first coat i always do like a really light mist coat um, it kind of prevents some fish eyes. Uh, I've, I've seen it done a couple places and, and it's worked pretty well for me to prevent the fish eyes. You just mist the coat on, let it tack, and then shoot your full, you know, first full like medium wet coat. Um, let that flash, you know, five to 10 minutes, um, then a second coat let that flash and then uh, with the metallics then you do um, a really light coat like and you and you pull the gun 
far back, farther back. Brian's got some some uh, excellent information on this, uh, on exactly what it does. It basically helps the metallics lay down um, so that they're even and they're not stripey. Um, so it, technically it's got three coats of, uh, of base on it. And then uh, it's got three coats of uh, clear, simply because I had enough clear mixed up and why not? Um, there is one little run that I didn't catch and it's right in here. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. Um, other than that, there are a few little dirts here and there. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's one right there. Ooh, don't, don't focus on my finger. So anyhow, but no big deal. Since it's got three coats of clear on it, we can, uh, we can wet sand or color sand this and then buff it and she'll look shinier than what's on the what's on the rest of the car so and you know and that's a real problem sometimes you do such a good job on these that it doesn't match the the rest of the vehicle the factory orange peel because the fact the the cars do come out with orange peel you know you can kind of see there's a texture to them anyhow we're gonna let this cure up for a day or two before um we install it on the car. I've got to get the the car in here. We'll pull the old bumper off. We got to put that snow plow on, which will be my next video. And um, just to see, you know, it, it'll be it'll be a good tutorial on removing a suburban bumper if you've never, you know, done that. And of course, I'll title it so that anybody searching how to remove a suburban bumper will uh, will find it. Um, then after that, we'll install, uh, this grill, or I'm sorry, this uh, bumper with the grills. I'm going to have to take the grills out of the old bumper, put them in this bumper. And, uh, while we have all that off, we'll put our new headlights in and then that will wrap up the project. So that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, go down there and hit that, uh, like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And uh, as always, leave a question, comment, criticism, concern. And uh, until then, we'll see you uh, in the next one.